ABC6 is on waste watch as hundreds of street signs are being scrapped and replaced. It's costing taxpayers millions across the state and the nation. Investigator Brooks DeRose has a look at the street sign switch in Columbus. Take a look at this street sign. Now, look at that one. They may say the same thing, but the Federal Highway Administration says the one up there is actually better and may increase reaction time. But is it worth the cost? The history is spelled out above the door. People want that sort of classic old school haircut. At Longview Barbershop, they tell you what to do and what you know, not to do. Running. One of my favorites here is the leave the shop, lose your spot sign. They're everywhere the eye can see. We get asked about that one a lot, and people think we climbed up a pole and <laughs> unbolted it. This one was damaged and replaced. But one call to our ABC6 Waste Watch investigative tip line questioned why the city was scrapping some signs. In the end, the whole purpose is, is to try to make it as safe as possible for motorists, pedestrians, and bicyclists. The new difference is in the font, size, and casing. Now upper and lower case. The details are in this federal manual for uniform traffic devices. It's why a stop sign is this shape and this color. That manual is signaling change to street signs, and we're seeing it all over Columbus, including here on High Street. The more detailed a, an object is, um, the more likely we are to pay attention to it. Seeing clearly is Dr. David Webster's specialty. He's helped hundreds focus to recognize and react to things faster on the road. I can't say anybody's ever complained about a particular road sign or the way a sign looks or anything like that. Despite that, we found the city of Columbus is spending $530 for every pole getting new signs. They're starting with intersections undergoing construction or those signs ready for retirement. Is that easier to see? Um, you know, studies would say it is. I mean, it's a percentage better. It's not twofold better. If the signs are working fine and I've never had trouble navigating the city, then why waste the money to replace the signs? Right now, only 30% of signs in the city are up to code. But when we asked, the city couldn't tell us the total number of signs and the total cost of the overhaul. That's life. Uh, uh, there are requirements that cities and states and counties have to receive federal funds. Uh, so you have uniform uh, signs, you have uniform signals. The Federal Highway Administration made the change to upper and lower case five years ago. A spokesperson told us a group of professionals and experts recommended the street sign switch for safety, and Dr. Webster agrees. Things are changing enough that your brain may be able to pick those certain clues out and, and tell you what they are sooner. The initial uppercase letter will have to be at least six inches. Lowercase letters anywhere from four and a half to six inches tall. And also a more reflective sign surface. Add it up and it will cost taxpayers in cities like Columbus millions to change to the new style. That's coming out of everybody's hard-earned pay, their tax dollars, to replace a bunch of signs that I don't think I've ever heard anybody complain about in the first place. There is no deadline for these signs to be replaced, and the city says it's in no hurry to do it. It only took one tip, and we started investigating. You're looking live inside the ABC6 On Your Side Help Center. If you know of misspent money, of government waste, give our ABC6 investigators a call, 614-481-6848, or send us an email, tips at abc6onyourside.com. I can also be found on Facebook and Twitter. In Clintonville, I'm investigator Brooks DeRose, ABC6 News.